Do not go gentle into that good night. Do not you even think about it. But wait, I hear you say. What's so bad about going gentle into that good night? The night's good, isn't it? What's the big deal? At which point, if we were sitting somewhere, outside, say, on some vast and unexplained premise of grass, a cliff top perhaps, staring out at a body of water, I, shaking my head, might stare mutely out towards the horizon, frustrated yet again by my inability to succinctly convey the emotional nuance of my original, if somewhat emotionally torturous statement. What's so bad about going gentle into that good night? And sure, I get your point. Do I want you to go gentle into a bad night? Of course not. Please believe me when I tell you my request is not, in any way, shape or form, a wish for your discomfort. Nor is it a comment on the existential necessity of suffering as an agent of change on the soul, which I think we can agree, the proofs of which are dubious. What I'm trying to say is, the quality of the night is immaterial to me. That even if the night were great, fantastic, I still wouldn't advise you to go into it. Not gently at any rate, ha ha, I say, suddenly nervous, at which point you might jump to your feet with a wounded and incredulous look in your eye, as if you couldn't believe what you're hearing, as if I just suggested you set fire to your favourite tractor. Believe me, I understand and sympathise with your confusion. I too am scared, if not by the existential premise of night, at the very least, the close of day, Yet even though the night is purportedly good and must be gone into, still I repudiate going with every fibre of my being, not because gentleness is weak and should be repudiated, nor because there's any real advantage in doing so, moral or otherwise. For no reason other than, the day is ours and we live here. Fine, go gentle into that good night if you really have to, but don't expect me to be glad about it. It's been day for so long now, the sun aching like a tooth in the mouth of some ancient and terrible horse galloping endlessly onwards. The darkness at the end of the lecture, the doorway through the grass, the verb that through the adjective drives the noun, the feeling of being always led on towards something, the absence at the heart of things which speaks to the whole. Well, if the light is dying, whether or not you rage against it is entirely up to you. Yet it's not night. It's still day somehow. It's still day and the trees are painting their wet black shadows on the hillside. If the trees have shadows, we are sitting on the grass. If we're sitting on the grass, the sun is up and I am speaking to you somehow. I am speaking to you, I'm saying don't. <laughs>